let's see how the balance sheet of partnership firm looks like balance sheet is prepared in the same way i am to say in t shape on left hand side all capitals and liabilities are shown but the capitals are shown as suppose there are three partners a is capital b is capital c is capital all are written down in the inner column i mean to say the closing balances of the capital accounts that you have prepared before preparation of this balance sheet and on asset side all assets are shown and in this way the balance sheet is prepared now the question is how to prepare capital account so capital accounts of the partners are prepared in the same way that you used to prepare capital account in sole proprietorship firm you know capital account is prepared in t shape on left hand side it is called debit side and right hand side is called credit side but be careful capital is always shown on the liability side of the balance sheet it means the capital has credit balance it means all the plus items are written down on the credit side i mean to say on right hand side and all minus items i mean to say the items which reduce the balance of the capital they are shown on the debit side of the capital account and you know if the capital account has got the credit balance so opening balance will be on the credit side i mean to say by balance bd will be on the credit side now let's try to recall what are the items that can increase the balance of the capital so first item is by balance bd and the second item can be by cash or bank that is additional capital naturally if the partner is going to introduce some fresh capital in the business or firm that will increase his capital so it will be shown on the credit side and by interest on capital interest on capital if the partner has invested capital in the firm he may be getting some interest on that i mean to say interest on capital if the firm is paying interest on capital to the partner that will be added to his capital it means his capital account will be credited it means the interest on capital will be shown on the credit side of capital account by salary if any partner is getting salary from the firm that will be shown on the credit side of capital account because if partner gets the salary it will increase his capital by commission if any partner is getting any commission that will be shown on the credit side of capital account and by net profit if the firm has earned any profit his share will be transferred to his capital account and net profit always increases the capital of the partner so net profit will be shown on the credit side of capital account now let's look at the debit side debit side means this is the minus side of the capital account means those items which reduce the capital of the partner will be shown on the debit side of capital account number 1 to cash or bank if any partner has taken out money from the firm that will be called drawings so these drawings will be shown on the debit side if any partner takes out the money from the firm with the intention to reduce the capital that is called capital withdrawal you know in both cases whether it's drawing or capital withdrawal cash is taken out of the firm by the partner but the intention is different drawings means the intention of the partner is not to reduce the capital account but his intention is to meet his personal expenses and to withdraw the share of the profit but capital withdrawal means if the partners feel that my capital is too much in the firm and i should reduce it and if he takes out the money from the firm that will be called capital withdrawal to interest on drawings if the partner has 
taken drawings and he is paying interest on the drawings to the firm. So naturally it's a income for the firm. Firm will try to recover the money from the partner and the firm will reduce its capital. That's why the interest on drawing is always shown on the debit side of the capital account. To net loss, if there is any loss in the firm, this loss will be borne by the partners and it will reduce the capital. So net loss is always shown on the debit side of the capital account. And to balance CD means to closing balance. You know this closing balance is always shown in the, this is the minus side of the capital account. Means those items which reduce the capital of the partner will be shown on the debit side of capital account. Number one, to cash or bank. If any partner has taken out money from the firm, that will be called drawings. So these drawings will be shown on the debit side. If any partner takes out the money from the firm with the intention to reduce the capital, that is called capital withdrawal. You know, in both cases, whether it's drawing or capital withdrawal, cash is taken out of the firm by the partner, but the intention is different. Drawings means rupees 10,000. And it can be more than 10,000 or less than 10,000 at the end because there are so many items which are added or deducted from the opening balance. I mean to say so many items are debited and credited. It means the capitals always keep on fluctuating every year. If it is happening, it means the capitals are fluctuating. But sometimes the firm decides that the capitals should not fluctuate. Now the problem is, if we don't allow the capitals to fluctuate, then how can we put all the items, I am to say debit items or credit items in the capital account? For this purpose, a new account is opened for every partner that is called current account. This is the minus side of the capital account. Means those items which reduce the capital of the partner will be shown on the debit side of capital account. Number one, to cash or bank. If any partner has taken out money from the firm, that will be called drawings. So these drawings will be shown on the debit side. If any partner takes out the money from the firm with the intention to reduce the capital, that is called capital withdrawal. You know, in both cases, whether it's drawing or capital withdrawal, cash is taken out of the firm by the partner, but the intention is different. Drawings means rupees 10,000. And it can be more than 10,000 or less than 10,000 at the end because there are so many items which are added or deducted from the opening balance. I mean to say so many items are debited and credited. It means the capitals always keep on fluctuating, but only for one transaction, the, even the fixed capital can be increased, that is fresh capital. Fresh capital is never shown in the current account. It is always shown on the credit side of fixed capital. And number two, capital withdrawn. If the partners decide to reduce the capital, and they withdraw cash with this intention, that is called capital withdrawn. That will be shown on the debit side of capital account. So be careful, fresh capital and capital withdrawn are never shown in the current account. So if the capitals are fixed, so on credit side, you may find only two items. Buy balance BD means opening balance and buy cash in bracket in inner column. We can write down fresh capital and on debit side, that's the minus item to cash in the inner column. We can write down capital withdrawn and to balance C. This is the minus side of the capital account means those items which reduce the capital of the partner will be shown on the debit side of capital account. Number one, 
to cash or bank if any partner has taken out money from the firm that will be called drawings so these drawings will be shown on the debit side if any